Hello there monsters and men, ladies and people, and welcome to Recharging. I am almost in Germany, so you know what that means. It is time for a top speed range test. And this time with the X-Bank P7 Performance. Wait, what? You're almost in Germany? You are not in Germany yet? Why not? Aren't you going to do a top speed range test? Well, I just screamed I am going to do that, but I am currently at a Tesla supercharger here in the Netherlands. The German border is about 30 kilometers away and I am not in Germany because supercharging at a Tesla supercharger is a lot cheaper in the Netherlands than in Germany for some reason. So, Mr. Cheapo, I'm Dutch, so that's the reason. Uh, that is why I am charging here in the Netherlands and not in Germany this time. Anyway, a top speed range test with the x P7 Performance. A car that can do 0 to 100 in 4.1 seconds and has a top speed of 200 kilometers an hour. Yeah, that is a lot. It also has a WLTP range of 505 kilometers, but we will not be doing that today. No, no, no. I think, well, I don't think I have yet to encounter a car that can do its top speed for more than an hour. And well, this car probably can't as well because again, I haven't found any. So the range for this car while driving top speed, probably around 180 to 200 kilometers. That's my guess. Why is that my guess? Well, again, it has a 505 kilometers of WLTP range well the sentence was still okay even though it was different in my head and a battery pack of 83 kilowatt hours the conditions today it is dry maybe the roads are a little bit wet from uh, this afternoon but again uh, it is currently dry and it is around five degrees celsius so the car is charging up then i will drive to germany and then let's hammer it all right, I am in Germany. I am at my famous starting point. And this time I will not be driving north because there are roadworks north, but I will be driving south. And I have to tell you that I will watch the conditions of the roads because the roads here in Germany are a bit wetter than um, in the Netherlands. And that is probably because of the tarmac being used. And also it is going to be a bit cold tonight, or at least cold for the Netherlands it is now around four degrees Celsius so wet roads and cold weather yeah that might be slippery roads so again I will watch the conditions and maybe I will not drive 200 kilometers an hour sometimes but maybe 180 kilometers an hour I don't know the car is charged to 80 percent this car has plenty of power to accelerate I mean it goes so insanely quick I'm now at 140 kilometers an hour Let's pass this guy and then I will hammer it. It is, this car is so insanely quick. Again, it's insane. Power! Yeah, it's doing 160, 170, 180 already. Oh my God. It has so much power. But above 180 kilometers an hour, this car gets a bit light at the front. And that doesn't give me well the 100 percent confidence driving this insanely quick i'm now doing 190 kilometers an hour can i go faster than that 200 202 is going faster it's going 210 213 kilometers an hour on the speedo holy moly that is blistering fast blistering fast Again, the car feels a little bit light at the front at these speeds. But yeah, I will do my best for you. I will really do my best for you. Luckily, the roads here are, they look pretty dry. So that is good. That is very good for me. Jesus Christ, this is fast. This is very, very fast. I am focusing like crazy. Okay, so the roads are a bit wetter here than in the north actually, so maybe this wasn't the right decision. Um, the car here has used 10% state of charge and on the 10% I have done around 19 kilometers. So that means a range of around 200 kilometers. Yes, sorry, I cannot, I cannot do math at these speeds. I cannot do math. 
Luckily, it is a bit warmer here than in the north. That is also one of the reasons why I am driving south instead of north. Because, again, it is a bit warmer, so less, well, less chance of slippery roads. Even though the roads are a bit wetter. For some reason, this car does not give me the confidence to do 200 kilometers an hour. I don't know why. I've done it in BMWs and they were fine. But this car, sorry x -Pang. And there is someone want to pass me with these ridiculous speeds. Also, the brakes in this car don't give me the real confidence to do it. Yeah, there goes one. Let's see if we can follow him. It is not a race. Oh my god, he is going even faster. Damn. That guy is probably doing one... 210, 220. Crazy Germans. Well, he's, he's doing 200. I'm doing a little bit slower than 200 at the moment. It is also a bit foggy, so yeah. It is not optimal. It is not optimal. I like my summer evenings where it is still light, the roads are dry, nice temperature. That is a lot better for a test like this, a lot better. All right, I'm driving a little bit slower at the moment because I'm looking for a turnaround point because the roads are getting wetter and wetter and I don't like that. But this is not a turnaround point, this is just a gas station on the side of the road. So, hey, near the road is dry. Or drier yeah power I will turn around soon anyway because I have used half my state of charge that I want to use for this test why am I yelling I don't need to yell this car is relatively quiet actually 195 Jesus it's so quick in every car it's quick for some reason today it feels quicker than normally I don't know why I really don't know why 193 power 202 man this car accelerates so insanely quick it should be illegal it should really be illegal I found it here's an exit in 1000 meters well I am there in a jiffy because I'm still doing 160 for some reason this car does not regen as much when lifting your foot off the accelerator at these high speeds I don't know why, but that doesn't add to my confidence feeling driving this fast with this car. Also, because the brakes actually feel a bit spongy. They don't feel sporty at all. This car, again, is the performance version, so it does have Brembo brakes. But the brake feeling itself, it's not, it's not great. It's not great. Anyway, let's see if I can turn around somehow, because... Ooh, can I? Let's see how I do that. Let's type in the destination here to the McDonald's, to the famous McDonald's, so I know actually where to go. Yes, begin my trip. All right, I have to take this Ausfahrt. Yes, I have to take this Ausfahrt. Damn it. Beep, beep, dee, 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 dee. Are there any animals on the side of the road? Bam! Oh, sorry. Now I'm blinding people. That is also not good. That is also not good. All right. That is one. And now the next one. Here's the highway. And then we can accelerate again. To do... I've done 61 kilometers already in 24 minutes. I mean, it doesn't really imply a high average speed, does it? No, it does not. All right. Power. I mean, I am barely touching the accelerator pedal and the car already goes like stink. It's absolutely insane. I have driven fast cars, but for some reason this car is just bam, it goes. And a Tesla Model S even goes faster than this. If you barely touch the accelerator pedal there, then whoop, you're in your chair. Anyway, I can hammer it. It is busier this way than the other way, I found out. Doing 160. Yeah, do I have the confidence to go faster? Again, it is a lot busier. That gives me a bit less confidence, to be honest. Because there's a, 
there might be a fool going to the left when you don't expect it. Anyway, 180. Other people are driving fast too, so if you come in a sort of train, then normally it's all right. And there's someone at my back doing the same speed as I do. Crazy ass Germans, man. Crazy ass Germans. There's a slow poke doing 140. Okay, one less time. Power! Ugh. Oh my god. Oh my god. 190. One. Ooh, this is quick. Wow. Jeez, what a machine. What a machine. All right, so I arrived again at the supercharger here in the Netherlands so I can charge enough to go home. But I have to admit that the test that I just did was not really a top speed range test. No, most of the time I did not drive 213 kilometers an hour on the speedo. No, most of the time I drove 180, 190 to 200 kilometers an hour on the speedo, which is still really fast, don't get me wrong. At 213 kilometers an hour, I mean, that is fast in any car. And sometimes, well, I wouldn't say scary, but you really, really have to focus when driving those speeds. But the reason I didn't drive that speed all the time, well, one of the reasons were the road conditions. In some parts in Germany, the roads were still pretty wet and I didn't dare to drive 213 kilometers an hour on a wet road. And maybe that has something to do with reason two. Again, 213 kilometers an hour is blistering fast in any car. But in German cars, even though it is still fast, those cars still feel planted on the road when doing 200 kilometers an hour. And this car, well, it didn't. When driving more than 180 kilometers an hour, the front of the car felt a bit light. Also, the feel of the braking is not that great. Yes, this car has Brembo brakes, so it should brake properly, but the feel of the brake pedal, it is not made for sporty driving. Let's, let's just say that. And third, what I do like when driving those high speeds is when I lift my foot off the accelerator, the car slows down because of regen. Even though the car is on high regen, when driving 180 kilometers an hour, 190, when you lift your foot off the, the accelerator, the car does not slow down fast enough, if you ask me. And then I have to use the brake pedal, which the feel of the brake pedal I don't really like. So yeah, those combinations, the car really didn't give me enough confidence at those high speeds to drive those high speeds all the time. Is this a problem? Well, no, because who, who the hell drives 180 kilometers an hour on a regular basis? if you don't live in Germany. I don't, I mean, the maximum speed here in the Netherlands is 130 kilometers an hour. Sometimes you maybe drive 140 and then the car feels fine. It feels planted on the road. So yeah, if you want to drive really fast with this car in a comfortable manner, if you ask me, stick to 160, 165 kilometers an hour. But again, the car doesn't feel at home when doing more than 180 kilometers an hour. Anyway, so that was that. Let me give you the result of the range test. I started the range test with 80% state of charge and I arrived, well, not at the charger, I stopped the test at 18%. So that means I've used 62%. On that 62%, I have done 121.7 kilometers. So that means with the Xpeng P7 performance, you can do when you drive nearly top speed all the time, 196 kilometers. So again, a car that cannot do its top speed for an hour. It cannot do that. I mean, I didn't do that. And if you would do it all the time, you get even less kilometers than I did today. So again, 196 kilometers, that is the range that you can do when you drive around 190 kilometers per hour with the Xpeng P7 performance. I do expect that the long range version also cannot do its top speed of 200 kilometers for an hour. The long range version probably has, well, around the same kilometers that it can do. 
What was the consumption then? I don't know, I really don't know. I have this car now for a few days and it's still not have figured out how I can reset the consumption trip meter. I don't think you can. It resets after a while when you are, for example, you park the car and you come back after a few hours, then it is reset. But I don't know how to reset it just, just now. I want to reset it, but I don't know how. So no consumption number, no, but a result. So yeah, that was it. I hope you liked the test and if you did, well, please give a like. If you have something to say about all of this, well, feel free to leave a comment and then it would be awesome if you subscribed. And then I would like to say now, this is the end of the video. Thank you a lot for watching and as always, to be continued.